Hello and welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we're taking a look at this air chuck from Chicago Pneumatic. Now don't be confused that Chicago Pneumatic is somehow related to Chicago Electric. Chicago Pneumatic is a bona fide tool company and is not a Harbor Freight knockoff like Chicago Electric. And so this is a chuck designed for your air hammer to replace the traditional springs that you might have on an air hammer like this on a 401 uh, hammer. You know, with these, these are always kind of a pain. You've got to bend them back to change the bits in and out. See this one here starting to rust here a bit. And so, but if you unscrew that, you see how, how there's threads that are there. Now those threads are generally standardized. And now, so what we're gonna do is with this chuck, and so I got this one off Amazon as an upgrade over the traditional end. This Chicago pneumatic chuck here, I'll put a link to this below, comes lubricated here to prevent some rust. And if we look in the back side there, you can see there's threads. And so then this simply screws on like this. So then after screwing on the air chuck here, we're gonna take a three millimeter hex key and we're gonna tighten these Allen screws. Get it all nice and snug. We don't want this to come off while we're using it. There's obviously a lot of force going on with an air hammer. And so these set screws, I can make sure that this holds itself on and doesn't wiggle itself off the threads. Very important for user safety. Always make sure you're wearing safety glasses when you're using an air hammer. So all you need is just a three millimeter hex key to do this. Obviously a hex socket would work too. Get that nice and firm so that you can't unscrew it there. Obviously if you need to replace this or service the chuck, you can undo it. The service item on here is gonna be the spring that's inside of here. And there's a snap ring in the front that you can see that you just have to be able to spread that snap ring to pop it off to slide off this front sleeve. I'm not gonna do that for you now. And then now to use it, you simply pull back on the chuck like this to release the four ball bearings on the inside there. Those ball bearings are what serve actually as the retaining or retention mechanism, much like the front of the spring does when you use the springs. And so then you simply pull this back and then slide in your bit and make sure your bit gets fully seated. Give it a quick test to make sure that the ball bearings are gonna hold it. And then you're good to go. And that's gonna prevent from coming out and provide the uh, travel that you need on the bit to actually be able to use it uh, as an air hammer. And so this really simple upgrade here, make it easier to switch bits. Just pull it back, sw sw switch it out, throw in your next bit. Now it's important to make sure your bits are fully seated. I've got another bit here, and this shank here is just ever so slightly larger. This is just some, a cheap bit that I bought on a pinch uh, at uh, the big green box store. And this one, does not really want to fully seat down in there, even though this is still theoretically a 401 shank. This one here, I think this is made by Lyle on this pickle fork one here, and this one drops in perfectly. And so that's just a really simple upgrade you can do. Now I picked this one out because it kind of matches the rest of the tool. You can get them in all black or this uh, combination stainless like this. The And this is the Chicago pneumatic, I'll put a link below. And so if you're looking to make your uh, your air gun a little bit easier to use and operate to switch bits. I'd highly recommend switching out from one of these springs to this. I'm still gonna keep this and throw this in the back of my toolbox in case this breaks, just as an extra piece of insurance. But I thought I'd share that little quick tip with you on that. And if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and look forward to seeing you back here on another video. Have a great day.